breaking my Urkel face out. Oh my word. Watch, you'll see. I am Ant. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I personally post every Friday. The main purpose of me just posting on Friday is to try to at least once a week feel pretty. Yeah. If you are returning to this channel, how you doing, boo? Anyways, happy belated Valentine's Day. I hope you guys all enjoyed your Valentine's Day. But well, it was pretty good. I had some pretty good food. Couldn't really go out on a date with the husband, but that's alright because we made date night at home. Anywho, I kind of have a cold going on. My throat's kind of sore. So this is going to be another voiceover video. Sorry, I know. Anyways, I'm going to show off my new products that I got for Valentine's Day, which is basically some Revlon Revolution. And I'm also going to try and do a very late Valentine's Day makeup look. So hopefully you enjoy and take it away. Okay, you wonderful individuals. Like I said earlier, we're just going to attempt a chocolate Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm going to start by priming my face with the Revolution Pore Blur. I had to shake it up because previous primers I've had like this tend to have a watery liquid in the tube, so I wanted to make sure I was going to get more of the actual product instead of the watery substance. Like always, I tend to start with my forehead, work my cheekbones, go up my nose, and then I drew a little heart for you. I, yeah, I don't know, just appreciate it. I'm still sore this morning. Then I'm going to rub that in, and I tell you this. Revolution Pore Blur Primer felt really good on my skin. It felt like way like a fine lotion, like rubbing the finest, softest feathers on your face. It just felt right and ready for the night. And to be honest, I'm just gonna freeball this look, so don't judge me too harshly. Now I'm going in with my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in F14. It has an applicator instead of a pump, which I think is really cool. Less mess equals less stress, and I am here for that bless -ing. I was going to make it rhyme regardless, whether I had to add on or not. Just not to deal with it. Spreading this and moving it around my face with this brush felt wonderful. Okay, this foundation, much like their primer, felt really light, which I love. Now, did it provide full coverage? No, not really. Later when I looked in the bathroom, I could still see the dark spot I have on my left cheek, but for the most part, my soul gave it a 9 out of 10. It was really easy to glide on, to spread around my face. It provided enough coverage to where I really didn't have to dip back into the product in order to apply more on my face. And I'm trying to steer away from my face getting really thick and looking really cakey after only putting on just one coat of foundation. So I can say that this foundation was really good and basically just did its job as well. Blend it in a little bit and we're good. This is my Juvia's Place Numero 6. Okay, my number 6, baby. Baby! I swear, I hype this concealer up more than anything else I own. I swear to God. A little of this product goes so far and you have to be careful with it a little bit like I said because a little goes a long way obviously I'm not taking my own advice if you look at this video but it spreads out so smoothly and so evenly that you really don't need a lot of the product in order to cover up or blend or lighten any areas of your face then you need to like a couple dots here a couple dots there and you're good but I always like to draw on my Sam Elliott my soul patch and some dots and I blend that up down around and around with my damp sponge and I keep moving sometimes I let it dry sometimes I just keep doing what I do when I do what I do but do you see what I mean when I say a little goes a long way Ugh, so much coverage and I don't even do the whole night wing bat wing thing under my eyes that a lot of people do I just do the little TikTok trick or the Robert Welsh trick and I, I keep it moving sometimes with especially with this product you really don't need that much since I have a long face if I were to continue to do the whole night wing thing it would only continue to elongate my face so now I'm gonna set my face with the revolution sport fix 
extra hold it fix and spray and normally i use my morphe continuous setting spray because the nozzles are more consistent but i figured i'd give this one a try for my eyes i'm going to use the revolution tammy x tropical carnival eyeshadow palette it comes with a mirror and all these beautiful colors i'm also going to use my juvia's place the chocolates palette with these brushes i have by sonia kashuk Pretty sure I'm butchering the name, but that's how I hear it in my head, so that's how I say it out loud. So I'm gonna start with my chocolates palette. And I ain't scared of electricity, but it's okay to shock me, me shock. Anywho, I do really love these brushes though, mainly because they are labeled for the job they're best at and they're so soft and they apply really clean and give really good coverage. I grabbed my set from Target for about $25, which to me is pretty affordable for the quality that you get with these brushes. So um, I think a whole pack was like $50 which makes sense because there was another one for the facial brushes. There are another $25. So if you get the whole set, you spend 50 bucks and they're really nice brushes and they're really soft and they do more than the job that they were assigned to. If you get what I'm trying to say, damn it. So now we're going to take this blending brush from Sonia and we're just going to blend that beautiful darker chocolate with this beautiful milky chocolate that's out of this Juvia's palette and move on to the Tammy X palette. For my tear ducts, I'm using this spiced rum and honey. I was not ready for the pop it was going to bring. I mean, look at that. As soon as I move my hand out of the way, look at it. And just for the corner of my eyes, bruh. It's just truly amazing to me how much pigmentation is in this palette and I'm only applying it to my tear ducts and I'll apply some later to my underlid but like look at it look at it had me breaking my Urkel face out oh my word watch you'll see now for my upper lid I'm using the revolution liquid eyeliner this eyeliner was very fine like it has a very soft tip and it glided on so smoothly i really didn't even have to do much tugging to apply my wing like i i think i'm pretty sure actually i have some hooded eyes going on because there's so much unnecessary skin going on up there but you know what it's all right they're still beautiful i still work with them they're still fine it's fine we're all fine here we're great I can't even really lie right now, like the main reason why I bought this, not just because it's also part of the new revolution um, kick or brand or whatever, I got it mainly because the pen was rose gold. Yeah. I kind of have a little obsession with rose gold right now, so yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I bought it. But I was not expecting it to glide on so effortlessly. For my setting powder, I use my handy dandy Juvia's Place Namid and apply with a damp sponge. Then I try to blend it out, you know, with the same brush I used earlier with the foundation, you know, the Revolution Foundation, because that's what I'm using on my face. And then I go in again and use a fluffy fan brush that is also Juvia's Place, just to further blend and blow out. Often the excess powder that I have going on that's just trying to chill on my face rent free you know what I mean let's let's get some of that off. let's spread it out let's make it as even as possible let's try and make us let's not let's try and make this look look natural it's not going to but let's try and make our face look more natural and less less bleh. you know what I mean you know what I mean so we're going to go back into the Tammy X palette and we're going to be using the shade Spiced Rum to kind of draw out the rest of that underlid from the tear duct. And then we're also going to go in with Nodding Hill for my underlid. It doesn't seem to show up too much on camera, but in person, I felt like it really, really helped complete the look. Like, I felt like something was missing under there. 
I didn't only want to dip into that palette just for the spice rum. And I'm honestly terrified of like bright colors. I'm not gonna lie. The darker the color, the the better my soul feels. So for my studs, I'm gonna go in with my Revlon all in one. I'm gonna use that for my top and my bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes, which I am absolutely obsessed with. These are my favorite. I can't find any other ones that are not gonna replace these. They're great. The glue I use is House of Lashes, which I was able to pick up from well, Target, I mean. But these beautiful lashes I got from AliExpress. Um, at first, I'm going to measure them because my eyes are weird. Like, they want to be big one day, then small the next. They have a mind of their own. I don't know what to tell you guys. But once I figure out the length of my eye with these, I trim them, and then I apply the glue. And like I said, the glue is uh, House of Lashes in the color black. I also have a clear one too, but I felt like the black glue would work best since I decided to do much more of a heavy winged out kind of eyeliner look with this look. Once I've done all that hoopla schmoopla dupla, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm pretty sure the glue is dry. I'm going to do my left eye. Wait, that's my right eye. I'm going to do my right eye and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my left eye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face! You can tell I love them. My highlighter is, you guessed it, also Revolution in Dare to Divulge. Divulge? Whatever it is. This is now my favorite highlighter, okay? It looks scary, but it looks so natural. I love it. Like, when the sun actually kisses your face in these places, or any kind of light kisses your face in these places, it looks natural. My lip liner is actually Juvia's Place in the shade Wine. This is such a beautiful color and it glides on effortlessly. It is so soft and it is so smooth. I actually got it with the Juvia's Reds and Berries package that was just released not too long ago. And so far I'm just really obsessed with the colors and the, uh, the texture. That's the word I'm looking for. That's the word. Texture. Texture. I'm impressed, overly impressed with just the overall texture. For my actual lips, I'm using the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Perfect Red. And look at her. She is legit perfect. Perfect. Of course, I would mess up right there. But whatever. I go over my face again with the Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Squirt and let it rain. Cleared it out. So since my camera decided to be a butt, I decided to take all of the selfies that I took for that day. Well, most, some, little, a little bit of the selfies I took that day and a little bit of a video just to show you the look. Okay, just to show you the look. Because the video that I had made for this look was not showing up as pretty or as much as I would like it to. So, yeah. All this silliness. Look at this. I mean, it's still kind of cute. You can still kind of see it. You're just not seeing the chocolates as well or the Tammy X that I was just raving about earlier in this video. If anything, the lips are just hitting. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't be afraid to give it a fatty, fat, 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 fat like. Don't forget to comment, share if you want to, and subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. And I will catch you wonderful individuals next Friday. Thank you. Leave down in the comments what you think of this, this chocolate Revlon Valentine's Day look. I mean, I think it's really cute. I'm so happy with the way that it came out, but I really, really like it. Anyways, we're gonna do all those lovely things to help boost this channel. Love you for all the OGs out there, and I will catch you next time. Bye, babies. Also, going back, it looks like I'm completely naked, but I'm not.